Hey everybody, this is Mad Matt Carter. Thank you so much for watching the AIWF Network YouTube channel as well as the AIWF Ringside Wrestling channel. If you like what you see, please do us a big favor. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, and ring that bell to get notifications every time we post new videos on both our channels. It means a lot to us and thanks a lot for watching once again. WWE is doing everything right right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you guys get to yeah. see that video of the Rock? All cylinders. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I did watch it. Yeah. Okay. And then here, here's here's something that I noticed. We were just watching this, and our children could just hear it. They're like, "Is that the guy from Moana?" And they ah. and they're watching, and and they're captivated. They're sitting here watching him talk about how he's gonna. Uh, uh, with uh, Cody Rhodes with the belt and hand it to his mama while she's crying, <laughs> and, then, and they're laughing, and then and like this is so good. And then when they when he did the and you're welcome, <laughs> they were they and they went back in their rooms and were still talking about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and my children hate wrestling. Right, well, that's but, your fault. Uh, we're working on one. Yeah, we're he, <laughs> he is a the rock. I mean, he he's just on another level. Uh -huh. And and then the WWE is doing a good thing by taking advantage of that. Yeah, well, what he does is over the last couple of weeks is he'll go on Twitter and Instagram right after lunchtime and do a long promo. Like the one two weeks ago was 20 minutes when they were in Texas, and the one last week was eight minutes. And he does a long, profanity-laden tirade. You know, you can never get away with what, but he touches on points that will be that are in his TV promo. And he did the thing with the belt on his uncensored promo. And let me tell you, it was a lot of words. <laughs> yeah. But you know, you gotta you show know, that to the kids. <laughs> yeah. Standards and practices are not happy. <laughs> yeah. Well, and some asshole on Twitter reported that Fox yeah, well, network yeah. was upset that the rock was cutting these edgy promos. Oh yeah. I'm sure yeah. they're, they're just, Crying their eyes out in Hollywood because they're up over oh, two. Oh, look at all this money! Because they're up over two million, you know, viewers every yep. week. Yeah, but like, because I had read on the you know internet, you know how they talk, you know that people are complaining because he gets to say whatever he wants, but other people can't. They got to watch what they say, but he doesn't. And Brian and I are talking that. Yeah, he earned it. And you well, know I'm why gonna... he earned it? He showed that picture of him with that fanny pack. I, I mean, I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut Diesel off before he gets to say this. When the rest of them get that over, then they can say what they want to. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Yeah, he's uh, earned that spot. And yeah. and 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 they uh, some people lost uh, lost their minds because Roman Reigns used the expression he called Ke uh, Seth Rollins a crossdresser. You know, and and I'm like, oh no! If you if you little candy ass person would have been alive during the Attitude Era. You'd have walked around with ice on your butt all day because you'd been butt hurt every time he watched. Oh my god, that's there I were just, no safe spaces. No, and and on, days. let me tell you, let yeah, me tell you what happened on NXT this week. So, um, Roxanne Perez, Booker T's protege, right? They call it a prodigy. Uh, she is switching to the dark side, um, very justified in her mind, and she's in the ring now. Keep in mind. Her name is Roxanne Perez. Okay. Yep. She's cutting her promo in the ring, which is somewhat scripted, but she's 20 years old. So you cut her some slack. It's an XD, right? And she mentions one of her adversaries and calls her um, a stupid dancing Latina. Right. And I see a guy because they're in a studio right behind her point and mouth the words. You can't say that. Like, are we to that point where some teenage punk can legislate to the performer what they can and can't say? And she kept going, and I didn't find anything offensive about it. And I was like, that guy got all up in arms. You see how the internet has made these people so weak? I was like, he doesn't understand it. Roxanne Perez, Perez, probably got a touch of Latina blood in there. Maybe, I don't know. I'm just thinking. Matt, as one Caucasian to another cracker yeah exactly you dumb honky um you know <laughs> I, it's a fine line i i'm gonna you know 
it's a fine line of what is maliciously um offensive and there and things like that. Yeah, like, but you're an educator. You gotta try to keep those little monsters from being mean to each other. We're talking about grown adults at work whose job is to hurl insults at each well, other. Well the thing is too is like I don't remember what I was reading. People were complaining about something with wrestling. And I'm like, hey, did they not watch Attitude? Like, did they not? I mean, did, I mean, yes, that was like, but then it was what, 20 years ago? Mm -hmm. about. Well, Rock used to call Kane a big red retard. Yeah, which I mean, we should not do anymore. Yeah. So, so, some people have me. never. And now he's the mayor of Knoxville. <laughs> he's got to call him now the big red socially challenged. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I mean, like I said, I I understand there are things that can and cannot be said now. But you can only, like, I don't, uh, maybe it's because I am Caucasian. I don't understand why you couldn't say that. But I just, I don't know. I don't know why you couldn't say that. Right. So, some people have never heard the words rabid rats third testicle uttered in a promo. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. Looking at you, Diesel. Looking at you. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, well, and, and if you want to watch a line being danced, just be, be in a, one of our production meetings with me. Yeah. Oh well, you know, and and me and Kevin I, Phoenix. I have my like, old standard in practice. <laughs> right in there with me, going no, find no. A vid find a video with Diesel in the ring cutting a promo on New Jack. At all, I'm going to say. I thought I was going to die that night. I'm trying to I get, thought you were too. Uh, Lord, I've talked about that before. Mm. <laughs> you might have to tell us that story again. I don't think I've ever heard that one. Smart he came in the boy. ring. He wanted me to leave, and I, I refused to. And I was like, "Well, <laughs> I guess he'll, I guess he'll just stab me." Yeah, he might. <laughs> the first. best part, the best part leading into that was watching Diesel rummage through his suitcase looking for the smart ass white boy T-shirt mm. to wear for New Jack. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm, yeah. Oh, well, you know, Kevin Phoenix and I had a lovely conversation about what would happen if he went out there and cut a promo and 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 in the voice of Buckwheat from the Little Rascals. Now, <laughs> I tell you what, that'd get us internet famous uh, <laughs> real quick for all the wrong reasons. And so, look, I they, feel they, like New Jack had some respect for me for that night, though. He probably well, after did. watching his I, promos in Smoky Mountain, I don't know how he could say anything about. Any kind of promo. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, good Jim job, OJ. Jim Cornette's these, these, specific response was uh, uh, make these people mad at it, make these people hate off you. white people. Yeah, right. just, just off white, people. Off white people. But and they no, did. I, 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 Diesel, and I give him all the credit in the world, and you'll appreciate the Roddy Piper reference. He obeyed the first rule of the pit never surrender the mic. Mm -hmm. Because, like, yeah, drop it. No. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I do, I do think there are some things that should not be said anymore, and I don't think it has anything to do with people being pussies. I don't think it has anything to do with that people can't. There are some things that should not be said anymore. But piggybacking off of that, some people pick the smallest thing that makes no sense. Exactly. Right, and especially there's also I I feel that uh, it's like w when you're within a group you then get to use whatever language you want about oh god yeah mm -hmm. it's like uh you know that that's you know that's that's your group you can uh, take you ownership can, yes yeah well if so like, it's different. It's like, go ahead brian i'm sorry it would be different if if uh you know if if her last name wasn't perez if she didn't have uh you know a, a latina background you know, mm -hmm. th then it would be different. But if she if if she's part of that group, then she gets to use that kind of language. Yeah, it's like exactly. I, like I told Jinky, I was like, I don't know why the guy's so mad. It's not like Tiffany Stratton walked out there and said, "Listen here, you stupid Mexican jumping bean." You know, I mean, right. exactly. yeah. like in the eighties, right? But you're right, Ryan. It's like here's another thing that's not along racial lines. Like I love jokes about. Southern people being dumb and hillbillies mm. and stuff like that. I do too. If I hear a motherfucker from New York or California or Michigan or something talk shit, I am ready to fight almost at the drop of a hat. It just burns my ass. See, I'm different. Mm -hmm. I'm different. Because yeah. I'm not going to let them make me mad. 
Yeah. 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 And what the, spots I was looking it, for. The only it, it, other it'll problem, piss them off faster by not being mad than yeah. if you get, but yeah. So don't, from, you're saying don't sell it then, basically. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Well, coming from my job, I will say there are things that offend people that me, I would never have thought would offend people. And and with my shoot job, I had worked with, you know, um, at-risk youth and, and stuff. And um, there were things that they would say that I was just like, I don't even understand why this is an insult, but it was an insult to them. So that's a, I guess you're right. I do want this, this different yeah. one because of what I do and what I do see offends people. And then also with my personal life and my, my personal, my children, I understand what, what can be said to, to, to them that is very offensive that people should not say, but, I'm I'm still saying there are some things that are such nitpicky things that it just it takes away from the seriousness of the things that are said that are truly offensive. Right. Yeah. 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 That's my when, thing. Yeah, exactly. That's my when you thing. Nitpick, then it's like, oh, you just overreact because you're upset about this. While when somebody is saying something genuinely offensive and hurtful, mm -hmm. it's like Oh, well, it just gets lumped into the, the nonsense. Right. If everybody's in the clan, who's left to wash the sheets? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. No. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, like, you know, I'm like, you know, like. Deep sauce by Jack Handy Holy right there. Holy shit. <laughs>